Hi students, welcome to the next session. So in previous session we started MCQs in relations and functions. So we will continue the class. So already we finished 30 questions in previous session. Now I will start from 14th class. Now question number 14. In question number 14 we need to find the domain of the function mod x minus 2 minus 1 under root plus under root of 3 minus mod x minus 2. See here we need to find the domain of this function. Already its square root is there. 0 is possible, positive number is possible, but negative number is not possible. Why? Because in square root negative number is there that can be considered as a complex number. But domain of the function is always real number. That's why in square root negative value will not accept. So negative value will not accept in the sense the value which is present in the root should be either 0 and positive. So both are acceptable. That's why the value which is present in square root is greater than or equals to 0. Similarly here also the value which is present in square root greater than or equals to 0. Now from this I will write mod x minus 2 greater than or equals to minus 1 go to that side it becomes plus 1. Now here 3 greater than or equals to the minus of minus to the side becomes plus. So finally we got two conditions. So from these conditions what we have more than 1 mod x minus 2 is there. More than mod x minus 2, 3 is there. From these two we can write 1 less than or equals to mod x minus 2 less than or equals to we got inequality. We know that I am using first PUC linear inequality concept. If A less than or equals to mod x less than or equals to B, then x belongs to closed bracket minus B comma minus A union closed bracket a comma b this already we discussed in first puc now i am applying the same concept here in place of a one is there in place of b three is there now in place of x x minus two is there that implies we can write x minus two belongs to closed bracket minus b how much? 3 a 1 union a value is 1 b value is 3 so finally we know x minus 2 right? value but we required x value that's why you send minus to this side if you send minus to this side it becomes plus now that implies x belongs to Minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 1 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5. So finally this is the domain of the given function. So this is 
question number 14 in question number 14 this option is given option D is the answer option D is the answer for question number 14 next we will discuss question number 15 in question number 15 find the domain of the function y equals to 1 by log base 10 of 1 minus x plus root x plus 2. See here we have two functions. You assume this is f of x and assume this is g of x. First I am finding the domain of f of x. After that I am finding the domain of g of x. After that I find the common domain that is f of x intersection g of x. Okay. First step. This one. So we know that log 1 value is 0. If this value is 0, anything by 0, it becomes infinity. That's why this value is not 0. When this value becomes 0, if you take x value, for example, I am taking clearly. Okay. If this value is 0, it is not possible. That's why I am taking 1 minus x is greater than 0. This is condition number 1. Why 1 minus x is greater than 0? Log value is possible only for positive numbers. Positive numbers in the sense it is greater than 0. So this is condition number 1. Now here, from this I will write 1 greater than x. That implies we will write x less than 1. That is condition we got. Okay. Now, if this value is clearly positive, why log function is accepts only positive value. Okay. Now, similarly, if this value 1, what happened? This is log 1. Log 1 value is 0. Anything by 0, infinity. That's why we are taking 1 minus x is not equal to 1. Why 1 minus x is not equal to 1? If this value becomes 1, now log 1 will come. Log 1 is 0. Anything by 0, that is infinity. So from this we can write x is not equal to 0. This is the domain of the first function. I am representing these conditions in a number line. Okay. This is the number line. Less than 1 means, for example, this is 1. And this is minus infinity and it is plus infinity. So here what is our condition? X value is less than 1. Less than 1 means below 1. Below 1 means all these values will come. But X not equals to 0. That's why where 0 is there you put MD sir. Now the domain of the first function is like this. What is the meaning of this? Less than 1, but except 0. That's why where 0 is there, that region is not included. Okay. Now, clearly, I am talking about second function. What is second function? Root x plus 2. Already we discussed it. The value which is present in root is always positive. That's why clearly x plus 2 is greater than or equals to 0. If x plus 2 is greater than or equals to 0, from this condition we can write x is greater than or equals to minus 2. x is greater than or equals to 
equals to minus 2. Means this can write x belongs to closed bracket here minus 2 is included, the ending value is infinity open bracket. Now, if you are taking the value, now I am representing this value in one another color, I am representing here minus 2 to infinity. See, this is minus 2. And already we know infinity. Now we got answer. Minus 2 to infinity. What is the reason I mentioned with the white color that is the domain of the first function? What is the reason I mentioned with the pink color that is the domain of the second function? Now we require the common domain, which is common in both. This position is common in both. Why? Because minus 2 to 1 is there in the second domain as well as minus 2 to 1 is there in the first domain, but here one value is not included. That's why we got this portion is the common domain. We need to take intersection part of these two functions. Therefore, domain is equal to closed bracket minus 2 comma open bracket 1. But in this portion, one value we are negating. What is that value? 0. That's why in this we are not taking 0. So finally, the domain of this function is closed bracket minus 2 comma 1 open bracket except 0. So from this, what we observe? Option C is the answer. Option C is the answer for this question. Next question, question number 16. In question number 16, the domain of the function f of x is given by 2 power x plus 2 power y is equal to 2. We need to find the domain of this function. So from this I write 2 power y is equal to 2 minus 2 power x. Now y is equal to log of 2 minus 2 power x. What is the value present here in the base if we come to the base of log? Then finally, we got this function y equals to log of 2 minus 2 power x base 2. But already I explained log function accepts only positive values. Now, this value is compulsory positive. Now, this f of x, f is defined for the value which is present in log, that value is always positive. Positive in the sense greater than 0. So from this I write 2 greater than this minus of 2 power x come to this side we get 2 power x. When this condition exists, for example if you take power 1 2 greater than 2 condition is false. That's why this condition is only exists for before 1. Before 1 means it holds the it holds for the x value is less than 1. If x value is less than 1 means what you write? x belongs to minus infinity comma 1. Then answer will be minus infinity less than x less than 1. So this is the answer for 16th question. Now option D is the answer. Okay, this is the 16th question. Okay, next we will discuss 17th question. 17th question, the domain of the function f of x is equal to log x plus 3 base 2 by x square plus 
sin of minus 5 by 6 less than or equal to 2 a. Similarly, sin inverse come to this side, it becomes sin. This is 5 by 6. Sin of minus theta minus sin theta. Sin 30 value is 1 by 2. Less than or equal to 2x. Sin 90 value is 1. Again here, we require domain is nothing but x value. But here 2x is there, sin 2 this side. If 2 is multiplying, it comes to this side, it is dividing, now it becomes minus 1 by 4, less than or equals to x, less than or equals to 2 come to this side, 1 by 2. So here, equal to is not there, we are taking open interval, equal to is there, we are taking closed interval, that's why the domain is closed bracket, minus 1 by 4, comma, 1 by 2 is the answer. This is for 18th question. Now, option A is the correct answer. Okay, next question. Question number 19. In 19th question, we need to find the range of the function f of x is equal to tan under root of pi square by 9 minus x square. Okay. See, first I find the domain of this function, later I find range of the function. See, this value present in square root. That's why, clearly, the value which is present in square root is greater than or equal to if you multiply it minus, these two values will be interchange. The next square minus pi square by 9. If you multiply it minus, inequality will change. This greater than or equals to will change it to less than or equals to 0. Now, it is in the form of a square minus b square. It can be written as a plus b into a minus b. Now, it can be written as x plus pi by 3 into x minus pi by 3 is less than or equal to 0. Now, x value is lies between this plus pi by 3 go to that side, it becomes minus pi by 3. And this minus pi by 3 go to that side, it becomes plus pi by 3. So, finally, we got domain of this function. Now, domain. Close the bracket. Why right? close the bracket? Equal to is given. Minus pi by 3, comma, pi by 3. But we require range of the function. How to find the range of the function? First, we need the least value. After that, I am finding the greatest value. How to find the least value? To get the least value, the highest value in the domain I am substituting here. What is the highest value in the domain? Pi by 3. If you substitute here pi by 3 whole square, it becomes pi square by 9. Pi square by 9, pi square by 9 both cancel. 0 will get. Tan 0 value is 0. Now, this least value is nothing but 0. Similarly, how to get the greatest value? To get the greatest value, in this integral, I am substituting 0 here. If you substitute 0 here, tan. If you substitute 0 here, in root, what we get? Pi square by 9. Pi square by 9 under root is nothing but pi by 3. That is nothing but tan 60. Tan 60 value is root 3. So finally we got the least value is 0, the greatest value is root 3. Now the range is closed bracket 0, comma, root 3. This is the range of question number 19. Now option A is the answer for 19th question. Next, who will discuss question number 20? In question number 20, we need to define now uh, we need to find the domain of the function f of x is equal to log base 4 of 
log base five of log base three eighteen x minus x square minus seventy seven. Little bit lengthy question. Similarly, the 
step back still need to substitute in here. F contains six function, mod function. In place of x, we need to substitute. Finally, what we got? Step of mod x less than or equals to mod of step x. This is applicable for which number? This is applicable for all real numbers. If you have any doubt, you can take any real number, substitute here. This condition will be true. Real number in the sense, you can take positive number, you can take negative number, or you can take any decimal. The answer is correct. So, real number is nothing but capital R. Finally, the domain of this function is capital R. Now that is option D is the answer. Okay? We will continue in the next session. Thank you.